project is a vaccine cooling device. Uh, it's supposed to keep vaccines uh, between 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, which is the optimum temperature range, in under-resourced areas without uh, electrical uh, supply. Uh, eventually, with our research, we realized that this was Ex cooling with expanding gas is pretty much the only way to provide cooling in these areas without any kind of outside resources, with just uh, human effort. All of the current state-of-the-art systems actually need some kind of electrical cooling at some point during their operation. Either that's to pre-freeze the ice packs that would be used in the device, or the point is at some point they, they definitely require an infra infrastructure. But ours only requires this. So this is a high-pressure uh, hand, hand pump that we got from an air gun. Uh, this is capable of reaching up to 3,500 psi. And only by connecting this to the tank and just using your own manual labor, you can actually maintain continuous temperature control. And I open up this valve. And when the gas starts to be released, um, the temperature... Whoa, see that? See how the temperature just took a nosedive? Uh, it's gone below zero. In a final version, we'd have an automatic uh, system using an Arduino probably to automatically control this valve so that it could keep the temperature precisely at the temperature we want. The most challenging part was probably uh, just the implementation. Like honestly, we came up with most of the main design uh, concepts pretty quickly. It's just that when we were ordering parts, um, for example, finding all the valves to go and fit uh, between all of our different components or finding parts that could all reach the correct pressure or have the right threads on the fittings. It was, ended up being a little bit of a nightmare, so, um, but yeah, that was, that was the hardest part.